Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm just south of Croydon and I'm at Old Coulsdon. Part of Coulsdon. It became Old Coulsdon when it was uh, came under the London Borough of Croydon. They Croydon, they gave it Old Coulsdon. But there's actually been a settlement here since at least the sixth century. Because Saxon burial was very nearby uh, on uh, Happy Valley and Farthing Downs. But uh, yeah, it's a bit loud. There's a guy <coughs> streaming a bush over there. Of course, I'm, I'm videoing. Of course, someone's going to be streaming. <laughs> We're just by the lovely Broadmere Pond, which is rather nice. At the junction of two major roads, one going up towards Croydon, the other one going down towards Purley. And this is a very ancient um, Broadmere farmhouse and it's um, it's 17th century barn. Look at that, that's incredible. And that's the 17th century barn. Been a conservation area since 1968 and it's literally just scattered cottages around this area right up until World War One. I've always driven through it so many times I've never actually because I thought it was a bit built up I've actually found it's actually got a lot of history. We're also going to visit St John the Evangelist Church which is an ancient church with where well, it's been upgraded in the Victorian and 20th century but um that goes right back to the 11th century and possibly earlier with a older wooden church on the site so um yeah, let's go and have a little look around. We've also got lunch booked at the Fox um, up on the Common, um, which would be lovely, calls in Common. So yeah, let's go. It's Thursday the 14th of December at the time of this recording. A bit fresh today um, in Old Coulston. Or Coulston really. <laughs> uh, just on Dean's Walk, but I'm gonna go back round by the church. I know it's open because I think they've got a congregation in a congregation in, so I don't think we could walk in. Well we'll see when we get there. But it's an ancient church, I'll so have a little look. Let's go. Welcome to the parish church of St. John the Evangelist Old Coulsdon. The church has stood here for a thousand years to witness to the glory of God and to serve his people. Yes, people in the church, so um, I won't go in. The part of this wall here goes right back to the 11th century. I said this is on the site of an earlier wooden structure going way back to the 6th century. Might be a plan of the churchyard. Over there. So here's obviously part of the old church, and over here is the, the, the vast expansion from the 20th century because it's caused and grew and grew and grew, especially between the wars. They needed a large congregation, as opposed to nowadays, and you need a smaller congregation because no one really goes to church anymore, do they? The decline of religion, well, not all religions, but um, I think spirituality has taken a sort of a leap upwards where people actually don't want to be part of a, a narrative, but find their own, their own journey. Nice little churchyard. Love one another as I have loved you. Absolutely. Got a little bit of rain. They said there's going to be a bit of rain, so um, 
not not heavy but um So this church really is 12th century originally, 12th century and a 15th century tower. But as I said, all this here is, is, is 20th century. The old church was built of uh, Surrey Firestone. Never heard of that before, Surrey Firestone. When I looked into it a little bit more, that's the same stone that was used to build um, Westminster Abbey, which is interesting. Yeah. It's very murky today, cloudy and drizzle. But hey. Starting to rain again. But let's head over to uh, Causden Common where we're having lunch. So here we are on a wet Causden Common, very ancient woodland here. Used to have two windmills, it was a very industrial area, and they were demolished in 1880 and 1924 which is a shame. I love a good windmill, me. Yeah, now I think managed by the Corporation of London, like Riddles were down nearby. But um, yeah, that's a, I can't remember what, the, that's, what road that is, but uh, it's a main road, so obviously you've got traffic nearby. Um, lots of people walking their dogs. They're parked up in the pub car park, ready for lunch. Um, yeah. Have a little wander around. There you go, yeah, Causton Common took its name from the medieval manor in which it lay. Its poor soils were not worth cultivating, so since Saxon times it has been used for rough grazing for sheep and cattle. There's a nice downland walk you can do, which I might do in the spring. I've seen this before actually, going part, through part of the North Downs Way, which we've done. Yeah, so six mile one or a three mile one. Yeah. As I say, Farthing Downs is over there. We've done a few videos from there when we've done um, Chaldon Church a few times. We did that recently with Andrew Norris when he was over from Croatia. Yeah. I like a, I like a good common me, but I, I, I really do need to upgrade my footwear because I haven't actually got any walking boots on so um I mean we're not going for a walk I'm just just showing you it a little bit before lunch but it's, it's very nice very nice as you can see London sort of that way and Croydon shame it's so overcast um it's a bit fresh not that cold I'd say southern England we don't really get really 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 cold weather um occasionally you might get a little bite when it goes down to minus one or minus two but that's not very often before we get so little snow i remember as a kid there was loads of snow over a couple of weeks you know in december january whatever but um now we hardly get any into the old uh, global warming whatever your opinion on that is i better keep quiet um of course it's global warming of course it's getting warmer data is pretty overwhelming on that but um, as it has been for millions and millions of years but there you go um, you know what I'm gonna have for lunch though I don't know yet I don't know yet I say I only eat once well once I've gone about fasting I eat one big meal and then maybe some soup in the evening something like that um, he'll say oh my god oh I couldn't do it I have to eat every couple of hours you don't you really don't 
you really don't it does wonders for you but each to their own as they say a quick look down this pathway it's a bit muddy so I have to be a bit careful this saw this lady probably in her 60s I would think hard to judge um, walking her dogs very look very middle-class and hippie-ish and had the most amazing dreadlocks look really cool I always think back when I, well, no, I've got long hair again now. It's always in a bun. But um, when I used to have long hair before in the sort of early 90s, I opted, thought very carefully and think, shall I, of having dreadlocks? I think they look so cool. Um, I didn't, obviously. I had it in a ponytail one or up on my head. But um, I, did, I did ponder it for a while. Actually, this Downs Link walk, or the Downs walk, I think I might suggest to Kevin, Kevin Hall of Kevin's Rambles, who uh, we obviously do videos with, um, as a walk, then maybe next spring. This looks a really nice one. So we can do the six, probably do the six mile one. Um, I don't think there's too many hills um, that some of the group might, might manage with, or have pro problems with. That's very nice. So it goes down to some houses down there. Let's go through this gate and go back down towards the pathway we've just come from. Um, trying to avoid the mud as you do yes I should have put on my, my walking boots or in the back of the car which has just got through its MOT again nothing wrong with it I had a service done as well I always have a service done once a year um, not bad for a car that's 2001 and ULES um, compatible <laughs> go figure that one out um, all that Euler's nonsense. Oh, nearly slipped up. Yeah, got through the uh, MOT again. Marvellous. I have gratitude for that car taking me on so many adventures and hopefully and taking you lot along with me. Hello, what have we here? An old building. I thought it was a pillbox, um, first of all, but it's, it doesn't, it's not. Oh no, it's just a store room. I think it's still been in use, or it might not be. I saw it from the other side, so I probably wouldn't have been that interested, but uh, yeah, it's not a pillbox. Uh, part of this is on the London Loop, which is a great walking trail all the way around the perimeter of London. Um, so yeah, so we are on the London Loop. I've just thought, the Fox Inn, I'm sure I have been there before, and I can't remember if it was, I oh got it, early 90s probably? Or late 80s? I'm sure I have been here before, because I know the pub, I've seen it on maps, you know, but I'm sure I have been there before. Unfortunately, totally changed. Just cross the main road into the common opposite. That's a little bird song there. I don't know what bird that is because I'm not an expert in anything. Okay, I think it's lunchtime at the Fox. What do you say? Let's go.
Well, that was really nice. A steak and venison pie at the Fox um, caused in common. I have been here before. I've never had venison before. Very nice, very nice. So just a very uh, quick video from Old Causden and Causden Common on a very overcast day. But hey, what can you do? Hope you're having a great day. Um, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care.